Normal delivery, also known as vaginal delivery, is the process of giving birth through the vagina. It involves a series of stages that typically occur over several hours. Although the length of labor can vary widely from woman to woman. Here are the typical stages of normal delivery. Number 1. Early labor. This stage is characterized by mild, irregular contractions that help to thin and dilate the cervix, the opening to the uterus. This stage can last for several hours or even days. Number 2. Active labor. This stage begins when the cervix has dilated to about 6 cm and the contractions become more frequent and intense. The baby begins to move down through the birth canal. This stage can last several hours. Number 3. Transition. This is the most intense and difficult stage of labor, characterized by strong and frequent contractions that can last up to 90 seconds each. The cervix dilates to 10 cm during this stage, which is the point at which the baby can start to emerge. Number 4. Pushing. Once the cervix is fully dilated, the woman begins to push with each contraction to help move the baby down and out. This stage can last up to several hours, especially for first-time mothers. Number 5. Delivery of the placenta. After the baby is born, the uterus continues to contract to expel the placenta, which is the organ that nourished the baby during pregnancy. This usually happens within a few minutes after the baby is born. Throughout the process, healthcare providers monitor the mother and baby's vital signs, including blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen levels. They also check the baby's position and heart rate regularly to ensure that everything is progressing normally. In some cases, medical interventions may be necessary to assist with the delivery, such as the use of forceps or a vacuum extractor. In last, normal delivery can have several positive outcomes for both the mother and baby, including shorter hospital stays, faster recovery times, bonding and breastfeeding opportunities, lower risks of complications, and improved long-term outcomes. However, not all deliveries can be considered normal and some may require medical interventions. Working with a healthcare provider is crucial in determining the best approach for a safe and healthy delivery. I hope this information is helpful for you. If you have any query, then write the comments below. Keep watching, keep learning, and follow your curiosity. See you in the next one.